Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR GTA 5 tutorial. And today, guys and gals, I had somebody hit me up and ask me if I could do a video on how to install real taxis into your LSPDFR world. Not just certain parts of the map, but the entire map. We're going to change out those gaudy, just bland, vanilla taxi cabs. And we're going to we're going to replace them with some Crown Vicks, um, some real life taxis. And then uh, I'm going to do one better. I'm going to show you how to change the ads that are on top of those taxi cabs. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. Click the link down below that says 2011 Ford Crown Vic. And big shout out to Toy. Uh, the cool thing about these taxis is there's multiple liveries that are true to certain parts of the map. And you'll see when you get into the game. And we're going to go in and showcase just for a few minutes on these new taxis, okay? Um, now, these are the Steelies. Some of these taxis with this particular pack comes with hubcaps. But I like the Steelies, so we're going to install those. And, and, and I'll show you how to install either or. All right, so first thing you want to do is double click or just click that download link and click that download link and there it is right there we're going to get rid of the purchase me box and minimize our web browser all right so there's our winrar now one thing you want to do is get a picture i'm going to use this one you can go on google you can use your channel logo um you can put a picture of your family whatever get a picture a few pictures if you want and put them on your desktop and i'll show you exactly why in just a moment um, but first, let's get the car installed. Let's go ahead and fire up our open IV. And then we want to hit Windows. And my open IV automatically starts in edit mode, thanks to our boy Criminal Justice. Crap! See how it's automatically in edit mode? If you want yours to do the same thing, go to Tools, go to Options. Under here, under Default Work Mode, yours might say Read Only. Go ahead and click that and select Edit and then Close. That way, every time you open up your open IV, you're already in edit mode. No more forgetting to put it into edit mode. All right, so... Here's the pathway that we want to follow, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You want to go to mods times 64E. If you do not see it over here, okay, you'll see it in the left menu. And when you click it, it'll bring up a red box that asks if you want to put it in the mods folder like it is here. So if you click it there, just click show in mods folder. That way, whenever you hit mods, your times 64E will be right there. Double click that. Levels gta5 and vehicles.rpf now once you're here one thing you're going to want to do is go to favorites click add to favorites and name it taxi okay just name it taxi and then click add all right and i'll tell you exactly why now first thing we want to do folks your first set of files aside from the ycds the clip dictionary is going to be your fragment objects meaning these are the yfts these are like the vehicle particles, I guess you would say, that put the vehicle together. All right, so it's all alphabetized, the IFTs. So you want to scroll down to taxi. Let's go find taxi. Okay, so if we double click it, here is the vanilla taxis. There's the downtown taxi. Um, it's got, you know, it's got the other ones in there, the crown, but we're gonna we're gonna change this out. This is just gross. All right. So here's what you want to do. Holding your control key, you want to select both of these taxis, okay? You want to scroll down to the YTDs, which are your texture dictionary. There's the YTDs. Again, all alphabetized, so you're going to want to go down to the Ts. And you should see two files down there. There we go. The taxi plus high YTD. Hold your control key selected. And the taxi YTD. Hold your control key selected. All right, up on your desktop, you want to right click, select a new folder. I don't know, name it something like Vanilla Taxi. All right, then you want to come back down here. We should have four files selected here. One, two, three, four. Here's your four files. Left click and drag them to that folder and drop them in. You just backed up your Vanilla Taxi Cab files okay let's click over here to deselect those so now let's say 
you open up your, you don't like it, you want to put your vanilla ones back in. All right, you open up your Open IV. We're back at the beginning of Open ID, uh, IV. You can now go to Favorites, select that taxi pathway that I told you to save, and it'll bring you right back here. Double click your vanilla taxi folder, and what you would do is you would just highlight these four files and drop them right back in there, and then boom, you reverted back to your vanilla taxis. Okay, so we're gonna take this folder and we're gonna put it in safekeeping on the other monitor. Now, over in your WinRAR 2011 Ford Crown Vic, double click it. You got model, double click that. Again, like I said, I'm gonna go with the Steelys. I like those better. So I'm gonna double click that. Now, as you can see in our vanilla taxi, we backed up four files, right? We backed up four files. Our YFT, which we have there. Our YTD, which we have there our underscore high, which we have there, but we do not have this taxi plus high. It does not come with the new vehicles and that's okay. So here's what we want to do. You want to scroll back down to the taxi YTDs. Remember it's down here near the bottom. There it is. Taxi plus high dot YTD. We do not have that. So what you're going to do is you're going to left click it and then right click and delete it. The taxi plus high dot YTD. Yes, we want to delete it. Don't worry, we have it backed up right here. So you're, it's not like you're de deleting it forever, okay? All right, now that that's gone, here's what you want to do. Highlight these three files now, drag them, drop them in. You just replaced your taxi throughout your LSPDFR. Now we can go in and check it out, make sure it worked. And there it is, there's the new Ford Crown Vic. And this is just one of the textures, it comes with three. Now, if you don't wanna worry about the ads, if you don't care to put ads, your own ads on your car, you're good, you're done. You can exit out of everything, go into your game, you're good to go. Um, but for those that wanna stay and see how to change your ads, we're gonna do that. So we can exit out of the WinRAR, we don't need that anymore. Now, what we want to do in our open IV is scroll back down to the YTDs. Remember, it's down near the bottom and it's taxi YTD. Double click that. Okay. And what you're going to look for is uh, CVPI sign one through five. Now in here, if you look, there's one ad. Okay. You go to CVPI two. Uh, there's another ad. CV3, P, uh, CVPI3, there's a Corona ad, and four, there's, uh, it should be, what movie was that? It's a movie or something, but it, it, it's, it, there it is, it's Born Legacy, and then you got five, which is the Ghost Protocol. Um, so what I'm going to do is select any one, all of them if you want, but select one at a time, and I'm going to go to four, because it's the yellow cab one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the sign CVPI sign four or whichever one you want to change up for now is highlighted and then select export selected, select your desktop and it's going to throw it right up there and boom, there it is. Now you will need a program like paint.net or GIMP to uh, be able to do this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this right here. Just leave these up. I'm going to right click on that file that I just exported and I'm going to open with GIMP, okay? It's gonna open it up. All right, click okay, and there it is. All righty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. I wanna take this, my logo. Now, as you can see, the logo that we're replacing is like a rectangle, right? It's kind of a panoramic ad. If I'm taking this square logo of mine and I'm gonna make it panoramic, it's gonna stretch it out. It's gonna, I know there's ways to change it, but when you're looking for a, vi uh, a photo, look for something that's kind of a panoramic, kind of a rectangle. If you get something that's a perfect square and then you go to fit it on there, it's definitely going to, uh, it's definitely going to, uh, you know, stretch it out. And you'll see what I mean. So, what you wanna do is whatever picture you wanna replace this with, you're gonna drag that picture just anywhere's on here and let it go. It's gonna drop that picture in and it might be huge, but that's okay. That's what she said. So here's what we wanna do. Whatever picture you're changing, right click on that picture, go to tools, go to transform tools and go to scale, okay? 
if you hold your control key and like use your mouse wheel, you can scroll out and make it so you can see the corners. And let's bring it down. You grab this middle square to be able to move it all over. And what we want to do is match this up with the size of that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so let's bring this over here. And then we're going to bring this corner up in there, right there, like that. And we'll bring this one in. Now, you see what I mean by how when you take a square and try to make it a triangle? It just, it stretches it out and it just looks kind of, kind of funky. Um, but I'm only doing this for reference, okay? So once you got that, just simply click scale. And then boom, it's going to pop it in there like that, all right? So now what you want to do is go to file, go to export as, and we want to change this to PNG. PNG, like that, and export it. Okay, you're going to click export right here. Let it do its thing, and then boom. So let me minimize that for now. So now here is our new one right there. Okay, you see two of them because that's a DDS. That is, this is a paintable version. This is your PNG. This is what we're going to be replacing back into here. So now in your open IV where we took this file from, where it's got all your signs, we're gonna go back to four. Okay, and we're gonna click replace. All right, we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna look for this one right here. Now, because there's two of them, you don't want the one that's got that little animal on it. As you can see, that is your DDS file. You wanna go to this one. It'll say item type PNG file. Click that and click open. All right, once you do that, there we go. It's in there, ladies and gentlemen. I probably could have did better. You see right there how, but when you're in the game, you're not gonna notice that. Again, how I kind of didn't go all the way down there. You might notice that. I don't know, we'll see. Once you got that in there, once you got this new one in here, click save. And then, boom. So, Taxi YTD, I probably, one I could do is, here's this one here. And yes, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna do this one too. Export, and I'm just gonna do this one fast so I can show you in game. To desktop, drop it out there. There it is right there. We're gonna right click, open it with GIMP. Okay, there we go. No, I opened the wrong one, doofus. I'm such a doofus. There we go. All right, let's open it up. Click OK. And we're going to change that one out because that's actually the one that we can preview. So now I'm going to take this GG logo. I'm going to drop it in. Click it because I'm already set on scale. Okay. And we're just going to scale it down. Let's try to get a little closer here so we can really get as close as we can. That'll work. Scale. All right. Again, file, export as, PNG, enter, and export. All right. And then we can exit out of here. We can discard changes. Now I'm already on that. So now I'm going to go to replace CVPI sign one. And it's going to be the PNG one. I'm going to click it and open and save. And there we go. So now if I go back up to my tax EYFT, which is right here. There it is. You can now see the GG Jeffrey Gamer logo on it. It looks funky, like I said, because it's a square picture that I stretched out. So if I actually took this and went into like paint.net or something and like changed the actual canvas size to be a rectangle, it would look a little better, but you know. So, but there we go. That's it, we can exit out of everything. Let me delete all these. We don't need these anymore. Um, and let's jump into the game, folks, and let's check it out. I'll see y'all in there. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are in the game, and usually there's some cabs that are up over here on uh, 
Vinewood Boulevard here. Usually, usually Vinewood Boulevard is full of cab. Thank, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yep. I think I see one right up here. And yeah, right there. Oh, we got some parked right outside here. At the uh, Love the car. Wow. right outside here. So let's shoot on over here and let's take a look at our new cabs. So now some cabs will have this taxi sign on it and some will have the ads that we changed. Um, it kind of mixes them up throughout the. Uh, it kind of mixes them up throughout the throughout the map. So, but here's one of our taxis right here, y'all. There it is. It works. No crashes. Nothing during startup. Um, like I said, if your game crashes and you feel like it's because of the cabs, you're gonna you're gonna follow this video again on how to install the taxis. But instead of these new taxi files and you know putting them in, you're gonna get the ones from the vanilla taxi folder that we created. Okay. So here it is, folks. Get you some real life Ford Crown Vic taxis in your game. Get rid of those god awful vanilla gta vanilla taxis and get you some realism in your life if there's other vehicles service vehicles anything that you want to see installed and the right pathway to install them drop it down in the comment section or shoot on over to the discord and in the discord you will see a channel called video requests drop your request in there i do my best to follow up on all those requests if i can if the, the mods are good and available for everybody to use um, and if you're new here and you feel I'm deserving, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell and giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach just like it did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.